Okay, right, so we have um, a few things that we just need to cover that I don't think we've mentioned before. Um, a D count, a D sum, a D max, a D min. All very similar, all follow the same syntax, same principle. Um, but I'll just show you how we go about using those. So I've already got a form set up. On this form, we've got um, a player here. Now, this is a database of um, hat tricks in the Premier League. Um, I'll make this available to anyone who's interested. Um, uh, just for for having a play with data and if I look at the relationships you can see here that we've got um, a hat tricks table which which stores all of the hat tricks that have been stored um, we've got the players we've also got the players nationality we also store the teams as well now because a player can uh, move between teams you can't store the team ID with the player so that's stored in this Hattrix database. Now, the thing is, you can have two teams. So you can score um, for a team and you can score against a team. And that accesses the same database. So you can notice here that I've got two teams tables added, which link in there, which is a little bit unusual. It's something that would never happen in the exam. It's just the way that this was set up um, and the, the way I had to do it for this database. OK you can't just drag those two into the same one it causes a little bit of an issue so we have to have two tables on the relationships okay so um but again you don't need to know any of that it's just showing you how this is all set up so i'm just going to save that i'm not going to save any make any changes so we've got um a, a a list here now this is already pre um, pre filled okay and when I click on this list it automatically populates all these I've already got a macro running for that okay that's something different that's on another video which you guys should already know how to do okay so what we're going to do is when we select a player what we're going to do is we're going to find out the total amount of hat tricks that they've had their total goals their highest goals they've scored in a match and the lowest goals they've scored in the match. It's a pretty obvious thing that with the lowest goals for a hat tricks database is going to be three. But anyways, it's just the principle of going through the of how to do these. So let's first of all start with the total hacks uh, total hat tricks. So what we're going to have to do is count all of the hat tricks that a particular person has got. So here we've got Dimitar Berbatov here how many um, hat tricks has that player scored so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to use a thing called a decount so if i go to um our, my property pane isn't open just need to open my property pane it's got to there it's down here the properties okay so in my control source I am going to use the expression builder. Okay, now we've we've used this before, and uh, uh, it's quite um, quite helpful. So what I want to first of all do is I want to find the function called decount. So in the functions, we have built-in functions. So I'm going to find the decount in here. So under the expression values, we'll find decount in this list. You know, if I click, if I press D, it will take you to D. There we go. So decount double click on that and that then shows you the syntax for that so the first thing is the expression then it's the domain and then it's the criteria okay so what are we looking for in what table and what is the criteria so the expression will be we are counting we're just going to count the amount of times that this um, player has, has scored has got an entry in this hat tricks database because that will tell me how many times that they've scored a hat trick so um, what we'll do is we will find um, any value basically in there so we'll just look for goals so that exists in the tables I'm going to get the hat tricks table and what I'll do I'll just get the goals out of there Okay, and if I double click on goals, that then puts in table hat tricks goals. So that's go that's what it's going to count. How many times goals entries are in for a particular player? Now I don't know if you can remember when we did another type of expression. I can't remember what expression it was. Um, we did this, but it doesn't work unless you put quotes around that. Don't ask me why. But you have to have quotes around the expression domain and criteria for it to work. 
Okay, I always go in and put them in afterwards because if you put the quotes in, this doesn't work. You can't then put the um, uh, the expressions in from uh, the the elements and that from down here. So we're told we want to get the Hatrix goals. We need to say what the domain is. Now the domain is what table it is. Okay, so um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on goals again, and I'm just going to delete goals and the exclamation mark. I want to get it from the Hatrix table, and I'm going to put quotes around that. The next thing is where it gets a little bit tricky, and like I say, we've done this before. This is the criteria. So what is the criteria? Well, the criteria is going to be um, our player, our player ID. So our player ID has to equal, so the player ID in the Hatrix table has to equal the player that we're selecting here. Okay, and like I say, we've done this before. So um, I'm going to find player ID here. Obviously, as you can see, I've selected criteria. Um, I'm going to double click on player ID. So while the player ID equals, okay, and it's got to equals the um, what is selected in this combo box down here. Now, I know that the name of that, but if I didn't know the name of that, um, or I hadn't named it properly, I should go name it properly, give it a proper name, like CBO player, which it actually is. But to find that, if I go to forms on the left-hand side of the expression elements tab, loaded forms, because that's the form, form, form that is loaded, form analysis two, and I can find now I've got my CBO player there. Double click on that. Okay, and that will now put that in there. Now, I did know that, and I could have typed that in, but I just showed you the, the way of doing it if you weren't sure what your name is. You can see other things that are on there. You can see my text labels and things like that. Okay, and then remember to go in and put the quotes around that. Okay, so if I OK that, you'll now see that I've got, that's now gone into my total hat tricks. So let's have a look and see if that works. Okay, right, so automatically come out and told me that Dimitri Berbatrov has scored five hat tricks. Patrick... Um, Berger has scored one. Dennis Burkamp has only scored one. Well, that surprised me. Um, who else? I know. I think the top player is Serge Aguero, who has scored 12 hat tricks. There you go. So that then brings that up. The reason this box is big is so we can see the um, code that is written in there. So we can see all of that. That's the only reason why that is big. So that is how you do a decount. Now, Another thing we're going to have to do is a D sum. Now, a D sum is exactly the same as a D count. Exactly the same. So instead of saying D count, it says D sum. And we say, well, what are we going to add up? What table are we going to get it from? And what is the um, criteria? And it's exactly the same. So all I'm going to do is copy that not hit the Windows key as I go to hit the control key and I'm going to plop that into that box and instead of decount I'm going to say desum so that will then tell me the total goals that the player has scored so it's going to add up all of the goals in the hat tricks table that equals the player ID that we've selected now, if I did, if I didn't want to have that select, I could just put like player ID one, and that would then just find all the player ID one's goals and add them up. But because we want this to work a bit programmatically, we're linking to the combo box. So there we go. You can see now that Aguero has got 12 hat tricks and has scored 40 goals. So what that's telling me is that he scored more than three goals in a game in some of his games. Obviously, if he'd scored hat tricks in you know three 12 hat tricks we would be looking at 36 so he has got more than there okay so funnily enough we're going to look at the high goals and i'm sure you can work out what that is okay and it's going to be exactly the same like i said this all is all this code in the same it's the same principle of working out it's just a different function so what we're going to look for is max d max and that is going to tell me what the maximum goals that he scored in a game or a player has scored and also while we're at it let's do the min the minimum amount of goals now we know that that's going to be three because it wouldn't be in there if it wasn't okay so there we go 
So you can see here that Aguero has scored five goals in in a game, and um, so he and he has scored obviously three. So he must have scored obviously um, more than three in a couple of games to be able to get that. Okay. So you know you can go and click on any of these players, and that'll tell you what they've got. So this player here, one hat trick, total goals three. So obviously we know that they're only going to have their high and low goals as three. Yeah. So you know you can just have a play at that at some of the players in there. I don't know. Some people will get a little bit hung up on this, looking for their favourite players. Okay. So there you go. Jurgen Klinsmann has only scored one hat trick. But he scored four goals in one game. So that is how you do decount, desum, demax, and demin. All very, very similar syntax. And yeah, all work exactly the same. So you will be required to do something like this in 